Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name is Brian and we talk about Blu-rays here. And today I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of the new uh, Severin Crypt of Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee set that I just got. Um, it appears to be a lovely box set. Um, in terms of design, it's bigger, but it's very similar to the Lindsay Baker box set. And then it's like a half, and you pull it off, and the discs are inside. Uh, same kind of deal for the Eurocrypt, but as I said, it's much bigger. And I actually kind of love this design on the top uh, that you get. But yeah, it's it's beautiful, just super smooth. Uh, it feels just like the Lindsay Baker if you have that. But just to give you a sense of how big this thing is, nine disc and book set, eight Blu-rays, one CD. There's both sides and the back. Okay. Uh, he remains the most beloved horror fantasy uh, icons in the U.S., U.K. pop culture history, but Christopher Lee delivered several of the most compelling, acclaimed, and bizarre performances of his entire career in the 1960s uh, Europe. The Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee brings together five of these Lee classics, the 1964 gothic shocker Crypt of the Vampire, the 1964 cult hit Castle of the Living Dead, co-starring an unknown Donald Sutherland, 1962 celebrated Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, 1967's lurid favorite The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism, and the rarely seen 1963 oddity Challenge of the Devil with the 24 surviving episodes of the 1971 film Polsky Anthology series Theater Macabre, hosted by Lee, all remastered from negative materials, uh, with over 10 hours of trailers, rare promos, audio commentaries, and vintage interviews, plus the Castle of the Living Dead soundtrack, and an all-new 100-page booklet by Lee biographer Jonathan Rigby. So when I open the top here, you get a sense of you've got your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cases, and then you've got your book. I'll pull the book out first. It is a you know, soft cover book, a very nice soft cover book, and full color and glossy. So really nice uh, compendium by Jonathan Rigby that goes with the set. And then we have our discs. So we'll start with uh, Castle of the Living Dead. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I've seen any of these. I thought I had seen maybe one or two of them when I ordered the set, uh, but I've actually, in looking at these, I don't think I've seen any of them, so I'm not really familiar with these. Um, it says, uh, in the final film of his early 60s European period, Christopher Lee stars as the 19th century count who invites a theatrical troupe for the weekend, for a weekend of horrors that uh, boasts the enthusiastically creepy performance by Lee. Uh, let's see here, startling locations in Lazio, Italy's uh, Orsini Adelashkashi Castle, excuse my pr pronunciation there, and Park of the Monsters, second unit direction by Michael Reeves uh, from Witchfinder General, and the screen debut of Donald Sutherland. Oh, I didn't know about that, for sure. Uh, as both a doofus gendarme and a hunchback hunchbacked hag uh philip leroy uh the night porter and jacques stanny uh co-star in this 1964 french italian co-production from the american producer paul maslansky who would go on to produce Deathline and the police academy movies and uh fellow expat writer director warren Kiefer, after whom sutherland would name his son now scanned in 4K, uh, this uh, from the Italian negative for the first time ever. So that's what the back looks like. And we have some features on it. Uh, it is, as you can see, uh, audio commentary by uh, Nathaniel Thompson and Troy Holworth. Always a great duo. 
Audio commentary by Cat Allinger, always fantastic. This is a great start, folks. Um, from the Castle to the Academy, career interview with master producer Paul Maslansky and the Castle of Mystery, the Castle of the Mystery Man, uh, Roberto Curtley, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema and writer-director Warren Kiefer. Plus, this one has the soundtrack. So I open it up, and whoops, you can see the soundtrack CD and both upside down. <laughs> so that is Castle of the Living Dead to start. Then we have Challenge of the Devil. And this one, um, let's see here. Uh, Lee's ultra-rare Faustian Shocker, now remastered from the original negative, in the most obscure film of his early 60s Italian period, if not his entire career, Christopher Lee stars in this brilliantly bizarre combination of neorealist crime thriller, tawdry Christian melodrama, fizzy cabaret musical, and trippy gothic horror, culminating uh, in a gang of bongo-crazed delinquents menaced by, white, by a white-haired Lee as a sinister Victorian who may be Satan himself. Uh, Giorgio Artisan, Hercules in the Haunted World, stars in this staggering 1963 oddity that marked the sole screen credit of writer-director Giuseppe Vigazzi, who attempted suicide shortly before its release. Also known as Catharsis and little seen for over 50 years, it is now scanned in 2K from the Italian negatives for the first time ever. Uh, and it has uh, Dance with the Devil, an interview with Robert Kirtley, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema, and The Importance of Being Giorgio, an interview with Giorgio Artisan over two decades. So that's that. And... Uh, Relics from the Crypt, which is, got a little card in here, no reversible artwork on that one, there we go, so this sounds very interesting, I'm I'm definitely uh, very curious about a lot of these. As I said, I haven't seen any of them. So next up we have Crypt of the Vampire. Very nice cover. And the back, which looks like this only has a trailer, but uh, the first official U.S. Blu-ray release, now scanned from a fine grade 35 millimeter la uh, master, in a lavish gothic shocker inspired by Sheridan, uh, Lee Fanu's immortal novel, Carmilla, Christopher Lee stars as a rare hero, uh, in a rare hero turn as nobleman Count Karnstein, whose foreboding castle teems with ancestral curses, unnatural desires, philosophical hunchbacks, and grisly acts of vengeance. Adriana Mbessi co-stars in this 1964 Spanish-Italian co-production, also known as Terror in the Crypt and Crypt of Horror. Directed by Camilio Mastro Sinek, uh, as Thomas Miller and Robert Spafford from from a screenplay uh, by Ernesto Gastaldi, All the Colors of the Dark, uh, as Julian Barry and Tony Valeri, uh, My Name is Nobody, as Robert Bohr, now featuring a 2K scan from a fine grain 35 millimeter print. Again, this one just has a trailer, no features on this disc. Crypt of the Vampire. Then we have Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, directed by Terrence Fisher. Uh, Hammer favorite Terrence Fisher. There's the back. This has an audio commentary by film writers Kim Newman and Barry Forshaw, which I'm sure will be fantastic. And it's the first authorized U.S. disc release of Lee's only movie performance as Holmes. Um... Shortly after their hit collaboration on The Hound of the Baskervilles, Christopher Lee and director Terrence Fisher, uh, who did Horror of Dracula, among others, returned to Holmes, Siena, 
uh, for Lee's sole feature film portrayal of the world's greatest detective, shot in Berlin with Hammer regular Thorley Walters as Dr. Watson. Lee considered it to be one of the best things I've ever done because I tried to play Holmes as really as he was written as a very intolerant, argumentative, argumentative difficult man. Uh, Senta Berger and Ivan Desny, um, co-star in this 1962 West German, French, Italian co-production produced by Arthur Brauner, uh, from a screenplay by Kurt Siodmak, who of course wrote The Wolfman, and based on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Valley of Fear, now scanned in 2K from a German negative. So that is that one. Some of these have been all region like this. Uh, Crypt is a region A. Looks like Challenge is an all region. And so is Castle of the Living Dead, all region. Okay, a couple more here. Uh, Theater Macabre. This is the one I think I thought I had seen, but I think I was thinking of a different movie. I think I was thinking of a Vincent Price film. Um, but so this is actually an anthology series, the Polish, Polish anthology series hosted by Lee featuring 24 remastered episodes on two discs. Christopher Lee hosted this anthology television series originally produced by Film Polski, uh, Knife in the Water and the Tin Drum. In the tradition of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and Boris Karloff's Thriller. Lee delivers the intro and outro for each half hour uh, at his imposing and often cheeky best, while the tales themselves adapted from stories by Poe, Dostoevsky, Ambrose Bierce, Robert Louis Stevenson, and Oscar Wilde are written and or directed by filmmakers that include uh, Andre Zulowski and uh, Andre Waja, dubbed into English and featuring additional dialogue by Jesse Lasky Jr., with new theme music by Ron Goodwin. Uh, it has remained largely unseen since its brief airing on American TV in 1971. These 24 surviving episodes have now been scanned in 2K from their original negatives. Very nice. And this has a promo with Christopher Lee as an extra. And this is an all region. And so as we can see, we have two discs on the inside for that one. And last, we have, hang on a second. Okay. Uh, Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. Great job covering that up. And uh, looks okay on the back. Um, uh, the definitive version of the Euro horror, cla Euro horror classic now scanned from the original negative. Christopher Lee stars as Count Regula, an insane nobleman found guilty of murdering a dozen virgins and drawing and quartering and is drawn and quartered for his crimes. But when a lawyer, former Tarzan, Lex Barker, is summoned to the Count's castle 35 years later, he will unlock a wildly entertaining odyssey of torture, dismemberment, and creepy Bavarian locations that is equal parts Mario Bava and Hieronymus Bosch. Uh, Karen Dorr and Dieter Epler co-star in this 1967 underrated gem, also known as Castle of the Walking Dead, Blood of the Virgins, and The Blood Demon, directed by creamy veteran uh, Harold, Ra Harold Raynal, and loosely based on the on Pose, The Pit and the Pendulum, now scanned from four, in 4K from the original German negative with all new special features. And actually, there's quite a few on this disc. Uh, looks like there's an audio commentary from Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson and Troy Horworth again, um, and an audio interview with actress uh, Karen Dorr, German with English subtitles, location featurette, uh, die, Sch I can't even pronounce that, German Super 8 Digest Short, and then uh, another one I can't pronounce, another Super 8 Digest Short. Uh, theatrical teaser and trailers in German, behind the scenes gallery stills, and this one is also all region. So that is the Eurocrip of Christopher Lee. What looks to be another home run box set from Severin. Uh, they have been really doing nice box sets, and I 
am very happy to see that this one looks to be up to their, you know, now high standard uh, in terms of construction and in terms of curation and in terms of extras. Uh, just a really wonderful looking set. So if you're thinking about it, uh, maybe this uh, look at it has made you decide yay or nay. Uh, but I just wanted to open it up and give you guys a look and let you see it. And I'm excited to check these out when I can. So um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.